If you see this shine on a rock, stop. That's real silver. What most people walk past every single day could actually be one of Earth's most valuable natural metals, hidden in plain sight, wrapped inside the dull, gray skin of ordinary stones. Silver doesn't always appear in shiny coins or jewelry. It begins its story deep underground, forged in heat and pressure, waiting to be revealed by the right eyes. When sunlight hits certain rocks, you might notice a faint metallic gleam. Not the sparkle of quartz, not the flash of mica, but something heavier, smoother, more persistent. That subtle glow is nature's quiet signal, a sign that native silver or silver-bearing minerals could be right beneath the surface. These are the moments gem hunters and mineral prospectors live for, because unlike gemstones, silver hides with intention. It doesn't shout for attention, it whispers through texture, luster, and pattern. To understand what you're really seeing, you first need to recognize the rocks that hold silver. Most often, it's found in host stones like andesite, basalt, or other dark volcanic rocks that have been penetrated by mineral-rich fluids over millions of years. These fluids carried silver, mixed with elements like sulfur, arsenic, or antimony, and cooled slowly inside cracks and veins. Over time, they form minerals like argentite, chlorargyrite, or galena, all of which contain silver in different concentrations. Look for streaks that appear grayish-black or thin metallic films that catch the light differently from surrounding rock. If the shine stays steady when you tilt it in the sun, rather than flickering like mica, you may be looking at something that deserves a closer inspection. Silver-bearing rocks tend to have a greasy or dull metallic sheen and sometimes you'll see small cubic patterns, signs of galena crystals, which often host native silver alongside lead. You can also spot silver in oxidized zones, where the surface of the rock appears crusted or tarnished with subtle hues. A faint blue-gray, sometimes yellowish-brown, sometimes even a dusty white. That color change happens when silver reacts with oxygen, sulfur, or chlorides in the air and soil. It's not a flaw. It's evidence of metal presence. The older and more weathered the surface, the more likely it is to show these signs. But here's what most people miss. Silver doesn't only occur in veins. In some weathered regions, silver has migrated through the rock layers and formed tiny nodules or coatings near the surface. They can look like dull gray smudges until you scratch them. When rubbed or lightly chipped, these areas reveal a bright metallic streak underneath unmistakable and heavier than anything else around it. That's the telltale signal every prospector hopes for. In rocky areas where volcanic activity once shaped the landscape, keep your eyes on the walls of eroded outcrops, stream beds, or shallow cliffs. Water and time work together, stripping softer materials away and leaving metal-rich rocks exposed. The most overlooked clues are often right at eye level. Thin silver threads glistening faintly under the sun. If you see small fractures running through darker rock and tiny reflective streaks along them, it's worth taking a sample. When exploring, always carry a small hammer and a hand lens. Break a small chip off the suspicious rock and observe the inner surface. True silver-bearing ore will reveal fine metallic filaments or specks that resist crumbling. Unlike mica or pyrite, which break into flakes, silver remains solid and smears slightly when pressed or scratched. That soft smear is called a silver streak and it's one of the oldest field tests used by miners. If you're near water, check gravel and sediments where streams have flowed through mineralized zones. Silver, being heavy, settles at the bottom of shallow bends or behind natural obstructions. In these spots, small nuggets or silver-coated pebbles can accumulate. Sometimes you'll find them coated in dark oxide or mud, but beneath that, they reveal the same unmistakable metallic gleam. Nature has another secret. Where silver exists, other precious minerals often coexist. The same hydrothermal systems that form silver veins can also create pockets containing quartz, calcopyrite, or even gold. The key is to look for diversity in the rocks, different colors, textures, and hardness. If you notice quartz veins with metallic inclusions or spots that glitter steadily rather than flash, you're standing on valuable ground. But silver isn't always pure. In many cases, it binds with lead, zinc, or copper, 
which means you may first discover it through these companion minerals. Galena, for instance, often looks like a shiny cube with mirror-like faces. It's heavy and metallic. Break one open and check its texture. Some Galena veins carry fine silver particles hidden within their structure. Cal Copyright, on the other hand, has a golden yellow tone but oxidizes into iridescent colors over time. Its presence also hints that silver could be nearby, formed in the same geological system. One of the best clues is the sound of the rock itself. When struck lightly, silver-rich ore produces a denser, ringing tone compared to the dull thud of ordinary stones. Experienced rockhounds recognize this by ear. The way the metal content subtly changes how sound travels through the material. The most promising places are often at the intersection of fractures, where mineral-bearing fluids had multiple entry points. These natural cracks act as mineral highways. Silver particles travel through them and crystallize in open spaces. Follow the lines. Look for intersecting veins. Color contrasts in uneven surfaces where softer material has weathered away, exposing metallic threads. Silver's natural form is both beautiful and deceptive. It can appear as fine wires, branching filaments, or even delicate tree-like patterns embedded in rock. These dendritic forms are breathtaking under magnification and incredibly rare. Everyone tells a geological story millions of years in the making. Even small fragments can be valuable. Unlike other metals that require heavy refining, native silver can be cleaned and shaped with minimal processing. That's why it's so sought after. It's both a scientific wonder and an investment-grade metal straight from the earth. But finding silver requires patience. Many who search give up too early, mistaking dull oxidation for worthlessness. Yet beneath that rough outer skin lies the same element that shaped ancient economies, powered early industries, and continues to hold intrinsic value today. The very metal that once fueled trade routes and coinage still sits untouched in forgotten hills and silent valleys. Every prospector's dream is the moment of discovery, when you crack open an unassuming stone and see the unmistakable gleam of metal inside. That moment doesn't happen by chance. It happens because you noticed what others ignored. If you ever spot that smooth, steady, metallic shimmer on a rock, the kind that doesn't flicker or sparkle like ordinary minerals, pause for a second. Don't kick it aside. Examine it, test it, respect it. Because you may be standing in the presence of real silver, a piece of Earth's purest natural wealth. Silver is more than just a precious metal. It's a symbol of endurance. It reflects not only light, but history, the story of our planet's inner workings, pressure, heat, and time. Each vein, each fragment is a whisper from the past, waiting to be rediscovered. And for those who listen closely, those who stop, observe, and dig just a little deeper, the earth still rewards them, just as it has since the first prospector lifted a shining rock from the dirt. This is Pro Gems, uncovering earth's hidden wealth, one forgotten rock at a time.